Albrecht CL27 Rubber Duck Handheld CB Antenna by Paul Mike Zero Whiskey November Uniform or 26 Charlie Tango 730 if you catch me on 11 meters and PMR 446. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. It's Paul Mike Zero Whiskey November Uniform or 26 Charlie Tango 730 if you catch me on 11 meters and PMR 446. Now, uh, a couple of years ago, now it probably will be coming up to that. Um, I did um, a, a video looking at running a handheld CBs between someone sit, sitting in a house and which I just left a CB on the radiator in here and someone walking around, which was me walking around with the other one. Unfortunately, it ran out of range before I could even get to the bottom of the street. So, that wasn't really ideal. That was with one CB sat on the window ledge and, or in this case the radiator, so I actually have window sills at this property, and me walking around with the one. So, that was with the stock rubber duck antennas because that's all I had at the time. So now we're going to take a look at this. This is a long CB handheld rubber duck antenna from Albrecht. It's, it's advertised on Hunterpol's website as the CL27 and we'll get it out of the package. It says on the back of that, antennas for professionals, but I really am not professional with this. <laughs> so this is what you get. It's got this BNC connector on it. Nice sturdy boot. Feels quite solid. Bit of heat shrink in the middle. I'm guessing there's a matching section in there. And it's got this little cap on the end. So, and what you do with that is take the stock rubber duck antenna. You can immediately see the difference there. I'll show you. So, that's the stock rubber duck antenna of the Intec IH520 Plus. Um, I think you can see that. I'll be putting a picture on anyway, later on. Um, and yeah, <laughs> this is significantly longer. What you do with that is you put it onto the radio in place of the, of the existing antenna. So that should perform a wee bit better than the existing factory supplied rubber duck. And I've just put the factory rubber duck antenna back on and the S meter hasn't moved at all on this. Whereas when I put the, the Albrecht on, it did. But we're not going to be putting the Albrecht on that radio for these tests of this antenna just to see how it fares against the, the standard stock rubber duck. This will be going on the Midland Allen 42 Multi, as per the handheld CB's Are They Any Good video. Because that's the radio I was using to transmit from on those. So, this antenna, substantially longer compared to the supplied rubber duck. Uh, if you remember the handheld CB's of the 80's, as, or if you've seen Netflix series Stranger Things, which actually features such things, you'll have seen that the antennas on those are very long. Probably a wee bit longer than this, but they are very long. And they have to be a specific wavelength, otherwise some um, uh, obviously SWR problems and then the files get blown. So, and that's the last thing you want. So, this antenna should improve the situation with handheld CBs, and I might just even buy another one. Now, my spouse was using the the, the Midland 42. Um, obviously with a stock rubber duck, because I didn't have one of these at the time. This just came yesterday, so it's not even been used yet. It's probably been tested on a rig at the factory where they're made, but hasn't been used. But I'm wondering if I did that, the similar test to what I did in handheld CBs, are they any good, which might actually be a little harder because obviously I'm out of the COVID-19 situation at the moment. Uh, obviously when I did the previous video, uh, coronavirus wasn't even heard of. Nobody knew what cor the, this coronavirus, well, any coronavirus was actually. 
apart from the scientists who knew that there are other coronaviruses out there, not this one. Um, so basically, no one, no one had ever heard of COVID-19 or anything back when I did did the original video. So I was able to move about freely and do go to the places I went in that video. But in this one, I, it might be a little bit more difficult. So I'm going to try and go. I probably won't be able to go down to Tesco again like I did, or like I did in the um, other handheld CB. TV's video I did at the beginning of the year, just before all this kicked off, um, and uh, then what else? Yeah, Prince's Gate might also be a little bit of a problematic one as well. So I will have to come up with a slightly different test route for this, just to see if this makes an improvement. It might make an improvement. It might not. The H520 Plus will be in the same position near enough that it was in the original video on the radiator behind me. This time without the charger plugged into it because it's got a, a set of reliable batteries. Um, and I'm um, just trying to think what else we got. The, the Midland will be with me. I'll be using both the stock antenna and this antenna. And I'll be swapping between the two to see what happens. So. Without further ado, I'm going to get that all set up and ready to go. You, in the bits filming for the showing the Intech receiving the signal, you might hear the video editor on in the background because I will be putting that on to process the last video I did, um, which you have already seen anyway. So I shall go set everything up and. Oh, and I'll be able to get out with this. I'll see you shortly. Okay, so I've put the H520 Plus more or less in approximate position of where it was when I did the original handheld CBs Are They Any Good video. Um, then you, as you can see, that's just using its stock rubber duck antenna. The long Albrecht one will be coming with me and be used on the Midland 42 as before. So, as you can see, we're on UK Channel 20 this time, which is approximately centre of centre of the UK 40 band. I'm not sure how wide banded this antenna is, and I'm not sure how efficient it'll be there, but that was the channel the, for, the Midland 42 was on, and i um, just going to leave it there. And that's the channel I've been using for some of the tests of late, although I'm not sure whether I used Channel 20 in my last CB and LCB test back to base I may have done but we'll leave it on channel 20 and I will obviously get my coat, get my shoes and uh, get the other camera get my phone and uh, we'll start from there so I'll catch you outside the blocker flats door and I will um, uh, set this off to record so I'll go get myself ready to do that and I'll catch you soon. Right, yo, I'm outside a block of flats with the radio. So we've got two antennas, this stock one that comes with the radio and the long one. Um, I'll be getting a bag out of the car as I go past it because I'm going to pick up some shopping while I'm out now that the lockdown measures are a little bit more relaxed than what they were. So I can actually do exercise and my shopping at the same time, apparently. Well, I think I can. I think I'll go over that. So. If I don't, I don't. <laughs> that's my fault. So, the stock antenna's on the radio at the moment, and that's the one I shall be using. So, I will pop the longer antenna just in my pocket to the side, without it whipping anything, for one moment. The radio's on channel 20. Now, last time I did this test with the... Last time I did this test with the um, uh, stock antenna, wasn't getting a very good S meter reading on the um, uh, Intec in the house. So let's uh, give this one a shot. 26 Charlie Tango 730 testing the Midland 42 with the stock antenna. Okay, so I will now change over to the other antenna.
Okay, so I put the other antenna on and I've noticed a little bit of movement on the S meter, but let's see what happens at the receiving end of the Intec in the house. 26 Charlie Tango 730 testing the Midland 42 with the Albrecht CL27 long antenna. 12345 Right, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a carrier bag so I can not only go, go and uh, carry this with a bit more ease, but I can also go get some shopping because I'm going to be going past Tesco anyway. But I won't be filming down there because obviously we're still in the middle of this COVID-19 situation. I'd like to keep out of the way of people. All right, so I'll catch you soon. Okay, but the bottom of the street just past the point in which it ran out of range last time I did this. So let's see if we're still in range now. Probably not. 26 Charlie Tango 730 testing Midland 42 with stock antenna. Okay, no. Give me a couple of seconds, I'll just change over to the to the Albrecht. Okay, change over to the Albrecht. Let's see what happens. 26 Charlie Tango 730 testing Midland 42 with Albrecht CL27 and long antenna. 12345-54321. And with that, I'll head round to. No, I'll probably bypass Prince's Gate. Because I'm going to go straight to Tesco. But I may walk back through Prince's Gate when I come back. So I'll see you shortly. At the top of Tesco, goes car park near the steps. I'll be going into Tesco as soon as I film this. Ooh, the car coming for this move, otherwise I'm going to get run over. There we go. So, on tra channel 20, stock antenna. Let's go. 26 Charlie Tango 730 testing Midland 42 on the stock antenna. Tesco's car park. Okay, so I've been given my locations in the last few, but I'm sure you can match them. I'll put them at the end anyway if they do come out or not. So I'll swap over to the Albrecht. Okay, swapped to the Albrecht. Let's see what happens. 26 Charlie Tango 730 testing Midland 42 with Albrecht long antenna, Tesco's car park. 12345-54321. Right, let's see what happens. The camera's in a slightly different position, so I obviously had to move it for before. And I also unfortunately had to curtail that test at Tesco because I got a phone call that had to take a lot of priority, so I couldn't do anything about that. So the conclusions I've drawn from the from the the evidence well, the video evidence I've gathered is that if you want to use handheld CBs, modern ones. Get one of these. It's about £25, I believe, from Thunderpole. But it's a worthwhile investment. And it will certainly improve the range of the handheld CB than with this thing on it. So if you've got a handheld CB, get one of these. Uh, like I said, there'll be a photograph uh, about comparing the size difference between the stock rubber ducks supplied with these things that's the stock rubber duck off the Midland 42 and this is the Albrecht, I can barely get it in the camera and therefore that that is the better choice so, if you, so at some point in the future I'm going to get another one of these to put onto the Intec and I'm going to run that test again with with one of these on the Intec and one of those on the Midland and see and see if that makes a difference. So I already know that it works from the, the rows with the stock antenna back to base, but I'm going to run that test again using that Albrecht antenna when I put the base antenna back up and connect it up to the ground too. So 
keep a look out for that one in future. So, unfortunately at the time of filming my internet connection has gone down. So, I'm having to use my mobile phone to actually upload videos to YouTube. Uh, well, it's all, I've already uploaded the last video to YouTube that, using my mobile phone because um, that's just finished rendering, although the machine is actually still on. So I will be putting this one through as soon as I finished recording. So that's obviously by which time you'll have seen it anyway. So the Albrecht CL27 long rubber duck antenna for handheld CB radios. It comes in two variants, a BNC one and a TNC one. So the only difference is the method of which the connection is made. This the BNC has these two studs on it line up with two notches in the in the corresponding connector that just you push turn and lock it. Uh, if you live in the UK you'd be familiar with that mechanism for putting light bulbs into light fittings. The TNC is a threaded version instead which screws on. So so make sure you get the right one for the correct handheld. Um, so could go through a list of handhelds and the connectors that are on them but the uh, there's no point in doing that. But that's the two variants of this antenna. Uh, if you've got an older handheld CB, as I said at the beginning of the video, you'll probably find the telescopic antenna in those is usually sufficiently long enough, as long as you don't end up breaking it. And it's a good little antenna. That's all I can say on that. There is nothing I can fault about this. It's a brilliant antenna. And I don't need to say any more. It performs. It got further than than the stock antenna. The stock antenna ran out pretty much at the end of the street. This ran out. This was almost running out at Tesco's car park down behind the steps. And that was quite an achievement. I have to say that for a for a rubber duck antenna that's not really that big. So I. I recommend that highly. That's a good thing. Good, good thing to buy. Um, so, right, I'm going to crack on with uh, getting this put together for you. So, it's Paul Mike Zero Whiskey November uniform, or as you heard today, two six Charlie Tango seven three zero. If you catch me in eleven meters and PMR four four six, and just enjoy your radio. Uh, stay safe regards to the virus. Um, I know the lockdown measures have been eased a little, but there were people in the local supermarket thinking that the lockdown was finished and the two metres no longer applied, which is an absolute load of rubbish because it still applies. Because uh, there was about several people that got far too close to me in the supermarket and I was not impressed. Don't do that. So, um, so if I get the coronavirus, I will not be happy. So, keep yourself safe guys and I shall have another video up hopefully very soon. So hopefully I'll be able to get that, that PNICB on the air like I would like to do because uh, probably that probably won't be happening for a little while yet. Because obviously I've got to make sure the weather's good and I actually have to target it out. Uh, so seven threes for now and maybe I'll catch you on the air at some point. Enjoy your radio and keep yourself safe. Don't forget, you can subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to be notified of new videos as I upload them. 73 is from Paul, Mike, Zero Whiskey, November Uniform, or 26 Charlie Tango 730 on 11 meters and PMR 446.